playable characters in the history of MK. Okay. An elder god, if you will. Yeah, I mean, not if you will. She just did. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. She commands the elements and life. She is almost the opposite of Shinnok in a way, where he was like death, bones, demons, mm. all that nasty stuff. She's like flowers, butterflies, puppies, fire, rainbows. water. <laughs> also, yeah, also fire and water, earth and wind. <laughs> yes. You see that rainbow back there? She made that. She made that. She made that, right? So she is one of the game's premier zoning characters. She is a great keep out character, but it is not traditional zoning where you're just like, Katana's just throwing straight fans. Mm -hmm. She has more slower startup, more trap moves that are like mid, close, and far. But first let's briefly go over her normals. They are all very effects heavy. It's, it's super cool. She uses the elements, even her normals. I really love this water teleport. She has this one where literally a meteorite comes and if it's a counter hit, she gets this crushing blow where it just absolutely bops them on the head. Bop. And then she gets a combo. You know, if I wasn't old and bad. That's all right. It's okay. Even even her hop attack is just bopping you over the head with a meteorite thing. Where does she get all these boulders? Well, when you're an Elder Goddess, you, Elder Goddess, you can conjure anything. No, yeah, yeah. Reality is at your fingertips. That's true. I've heard that. Yeah. Nice. So, her special moves. One of her core moves for her zoning is this rock. She bounces it on the ground, and while the startup is pretty slow, it's excellent on block. It has a long knockdown on hit. Like the opponent, space will be controlled when this move is hit. You're gonna hit block. with a boulder. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. yeah, yeah that I mean, makes a lot of sense that you wouldn't want to move if a giant boulder was rolling at you. Absolutely. But then to complement it, she has this air one, and it looks very similar. It's gonna be extremely hard to tell what she's doing. Sure. So you want to jump because of the rolling boulder, and then you're gonna jump into this. She Ooh. also has this rock wall, and if she amplifies it, it's a great combo under, and this can actually absorb projectiles. I was just going to ask, can it absorb projectiles? It can. And that is a crushing blow. When it absorbs a projectile. When it absorbs a projectile for the first time, you actually get the crushing blow. And again, once per game. Sure. It's also one of her key combo unders. Now, this is very interesting to me, because some that you sort of shark around for, you know, this one, you might be trying to do that when you shouldn't be doing it because you know the first time you get a crushing yes. blow. You might be throwing it up there and missing, throwing it up there. I mean, there's there's definitely some danger knowing you have to do it first try. Absolutely. So then she has her Hellfire Beam. She can do this in the air or the ground, and if she amplifies it, this is not tracking. It's close, medium, or far, but it's real juicy damage. Very, very hard to avoid. Um, then she has uh, this Tentacle Grab. This is actually one of the few tracking moves in the game. Like, we don't have a lot of these in this, but this will actually go wherever the opponent is. It's pretty quick. It is not a low. It's actually a mid, so there are no overhead low mix-ups. She just has to do it. And it has a ton of recovery on whiff or block. But, again, the opponent's kind of jumping around, walking back, trying to avoid all this business. And then at any moment you see movement, or you go for the read, and you're going to get them, and then you're going to get a combo. She's just throwing the world at you. Her combos are not the greatest. She really doesn't have a lot of pop-ups to, because she's kind of a keep away character. So right. often what I do is I actually do this move, let them restand, then I go for a throw, or I go for a overhead bop, or this move, which just sends them back. So she's not a character that's gonna hurt you super, super hard when you're wrong, but you're gonna be wrong a lot as you're trying to get in. Sure. So I guess let's go over the load I made, which is some moves that are gonna be interesting. A lot of people, sure have not seen these moves. The first one I gave her, this is, this is I went with Lore, so I went with an Earth-based loadout. Nice. I gave her a Ground Pound. Oh, I love that. It's two pound. hitting, they're low. And then I gave her, she has these different buffs using the elements. I gave her this one where she summons the rocks. So now the way this works is, I'm gonna switch to Jade. She summons the rocks, and while you're in the rock field, if you hit Cetrion, the rock will actually latch out and try to hit you. So I'll show you. You can but see no. if no. it's blocked or whiffed, it actually won't. And you can actually avoid them. Like they're not just immediately targeting. Like I'm, I'm intentionally doing something low and now I'm out of the field. Oh. But you'll see the rock actually comes down. And if the opponent's there, they'll get bopped. So Cetrion using both of her defensive stamina, if you look, it actually takes up her whole thing. She could set this up, go in for pressure, go in for throw or whatever block strings. And if the opponent tries to counter hook back or try to do a juggle, Wow, well, that happened to both of us. Everybody's getting phone calls today. <laughs> um, they'll actually be hit. Now, because the stamina's gone, you got to think about the risk-reward here, because that means if you dodge it and you actually combo Cetrion, she's not going to be able to break away or do a wake-up attack for quite a while. So 
this isn't an end all, you know, you just can't play the game, but it is a great, great defensive tool. Now, would you use it as like, I'm going to be on the other side of the screen, I'm going to put that up and I'm going into zoning line. You could definitely do that. Right. I personally like using it offensively, mm -hmm. kind of do it in the mid range and then try to go in if they try to poke. But yeah, you could absolutely do that too. It's essentially you can think of as a shield, a high risk shield. Yeah, a ring of protection. So let's check out her fatal blow before we go into her second loadout. This one is extremely powerful. That is actually drop down and track you. So no matter where on screen, it's gonna hit them on the top of the head. It is awesome for zoning exchanges. Like you can literally sit there, look for Jade to throw her glaive or turn gotcha. on, and yeah, you got him. She oh. becomes extremely deadly when she's in fatal blow. You would expect that out of an elder god. Yeah. They just get stronger. An elf that tree, nice. All right, so let's go to loadout two, which is my wind-based loadout. Okay. What is that too much? No, I think this is one of your this is one of your best names ever. Thank you. I I thought of this Arbor, Arbor Bay. Bay on the way to work, and I Arbor Bay. That's good. I like it. I like it. So now she's a little darker, right? A little yes. more evil. I'm all in on her gear. She, mm -hmm. I, I personally use this weird cosmic purple, like outer space looking thing yeah, that's you really had it on cool. Your TV earlier, I saw. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So the first move I gave her was this tornado. Typically, she doesn't have just a standard projectile that just goes straight forward, and this, she actually gets it. If she amplifies it, it goes full screen. The really cool thing, though, is actually the pushback on block because it is hella. They actually go way back. So they this is go as far back as they do when they get hit. If yeah. Pretty, it, right? So it is super good for keeping the opponent at bay. Bay. Arbor Bay. So then I also gave her another one of these buffs, which is this wind tunnel. So again, I'll play Jade to show how it works because this thing is pretty awesome. So while this is out, if Jade is on the outer edges. It actually slows down her movement, even her jumping. You can see it's like literally a barrier. And if you get to the center, you can move, but outside the edges, it's super hard to get in. And this totally complements the tornado move I gave her. So for example, you can go in here, do this, and you can see in mid-range, Jade is gonna really struggle to get in. And even if she's blocking, she's then gonna be pushed back to it. So this is just the perfect move to keep someone out and keep up the range that Cetrion wants to be in. So she doesn't have the best combos, but she has excellent keep away, and she's just going to be chipping them out, making them jump, making them try to maybe teleport in, or she could use her shadow kick and then punish it. It's great skin control. Throw Again, her. though, she is using all her defensive stamina to do these buffs. Right. Cool. cool. What, what, what do we got? We have anything left? Ooh, even the rocks turn. Yeah, we, we kind of yes. want to just give a, a few tastes of Cetrion.